Okay, here we go. <laughs> I am now live. Hey, everybody. Uh, yep, uh, tonight we are playing, if you hadn't seen on the title, uh, we are going to be playing Millennia uh, for the first time ever. It literally just came out last night. So needless to say, I'm a little excited. Um, I literally found out about this game only about uh, a month ago, uh, right before, um, what was it? Um, God, um, next fest, I think it was like the steam, the steam next fest where they released a bunch of like, uh, games, early game demos that, uh, you know, that that festival puts on, you know, like devs will release it. We'll release games based on like the, uh, like we'll release game. De oh my God. I can't think tonight. <laughs> Okay, let me let me try this again. I don't I think I came on a little strong. So again, let's try that again. Uh welcome everybody to another Wednesday night live stream live stream. Tonight we are playing Millennia. Um we will be playing uh this game that just came out yesterday on uh, on Steam. I'm really excited. I played this game once before uh before the game came out uh during Next Fest. I tried the demo. Uh, at least I think it was called Next Fest, um, or at least I think it was during that time. Next Fest on Steam is when a bunch of like um, j in the festival uh, or during the festival, the uh, a bunch of developers will release their games early before um, before the actual full release of the game, uh, so that people can try it out and give feedback and stuff like that. And luckily, uh, Millennia was out uh decided to release a demo there i caught wind of it uh during the fest uh, during that time and i'm like i uh tried it out and because i heard it was sort of a um civilization like game which is how i sort of um promoted the game here today um I heard it was a Civ like game, so I decided, okay, you know what, I'll give it a try. Cause you know, I have Civilizations, I have Civilization Six, and I have Humankind. And I just thought, you know what, I'll give it a try and uh see what it's like. See if, you know, it might give Civilization and Humankind a run for its money. Um, and I checked it out. Uh I was allowed to try out the first 60 turns. Um, and check out some of the mechanics. And I gotta say, I kind of like it. I, from the, uh, demo that I played and now about the, let me check. What was the, uh, how many hours have I played now? Uh, seven, seven and a half hours about there. I played about seven and a half hours. So, you know, I'm still really new to the game. I haven't really gotten that far into it. I've sort of gotten into the next age or era, however you want to pronounce, or however you want to say it, the, um, the, in this game, it's actually the ages, not eras, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try it, but, uh, first, before we go, we get into it, just quick, um, quick normal thing that I normally do before. Uh, if you like what you see and you want to see more of it, uh, I would please, uh, I would be uh, very appreciative if you guys could give me a follow here on twitch it would mean a lot especially as a small streamer i'm trying to reach 40 followers um at some point this year it would be very great it would be amazing if i could did i say for 50 i think i accidentally said 50 uh 40 i'm trying to reach my first follower goal of 40 followers and i'm five away from that right now so if you guys can help me with that that would be phenomenal i would absolutely appreciate it and I would be eternally grateful. <laughs> um, if you have any suggestions for ways I can improve the stream, games you want to see us play in the future, um, or me in the future, uh, considering this is my first time I'm playing a uh, game solo and doing a stream solo in a long time, like probably half a year. So it's probably why I might be a bit nervous. But anyway, either way, um, if you have any games you want to see us play in the future, um, any ways to improve the stream or just suggestions in general, you can put them in the Twitch chat right here or down below in the uh, suggestion box uh, where you can leave a comment. I do my best uh, to check those areas as often as I can. 
um, and I take all all of the suggestions um, as serious as I can and see which ones I can realistically implement. You can also do the same on my YouTube channel under the live stream after it get, after it goes uh, up on YouTube. So just pay attention for when it comes out there. Uh, if you also want to follow me on on Twitter, my handle uh, my Twitter handle there is at allegis nine six eleven. 0996. That is where I post whenever I'm going to be live, whenever I can't be live, whenever I update the schedule, stuff like that. You can find all you need to know there to stay the most up to date. Um, all of my live streams, as I said just a moment ago, go up on YouTube, Allegis Plays. Um, so you can go over there and check them out once they go up on YouTube. This one, as well as everyone else, usually goes up around 24 to 48 hours after they premiered here. Really just depends on how fast I can get it uploaded and how good my internet speed is, stuff like that. Um, but if there's any issues with it, I will put them over on, I will put it up here on my X account. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, kind of tickle in my throat. That is not a good sign. Might be getting a cold or something, but... Uh, yeah, every if there is a problem at all, if the, if it won't uh, go up in the next two days, I'll let people know on uh, X dash Twitter. You know, st most people still know it as Twitter. Hold on, I gotta take a drink. Like, uh, this is the problem with not having uh, uh, somebody on to help me. <clears throat> but anyway. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I definitely got to get people, I, I definitely got to do this stream with it, with somebody else, you know, on as well. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do when you're by yourself. Um, but anyway, yeah, you can, uh, find the live streams there after they premiered here. Um, if you want to help me out over there, the best way to do it is subscribing to the channel, liking the live streams, sharing the live streams, uh, whoa saw the uh, stream flashed for a second. That was weird. Um, but uh, liking the live stream, sharing the live streams, and leaving a comment, even if it's just an emoji for the sake of engagement, it would be uh, amazing if you guys could do that and help me build a community over there. But with that being said, let's get into Millennia. I had to turn off the music just for a moment because it was really loud and I never got a chance to actually... Uh, I never got a chance to actually um, lower it before the beginning of the live stream, so I'll just uh, turn it up a little bit so you guys can hear it. Now, actually, I I um, I uh, pre-ordered the game, so I did get the lot the soundtrack. So I'm uh, I'm probably gonna check it out at some point. Uh, just let me know if. Um, just let me know if it's too loud or if the game stuff is too loud uh, and I will uh, I'll lower it. So I'm going to go into custom game. Um, so uh, I'm going to click random on all of these. Actually, no, you know what? I made a couple of small uh, new nations, but I'll just click some. I'll have Brazil, China, Japan, France, Rome, the United Kingdom, and Egypt. So what does that leave me? Ooh, I'll be the Ottomans then. The Ottomans, Brazil, China, Japan, France, Rome, the United Kingdom. Okay. So in, in this game, you basically choose like the difference between this game and Civ. There are some major differences. That's why I want to say, that's why I want to say, um, it is a Civ like game, but it's not uh, like if you're going into this thinking that it's just Civ with some extra steps, unfortunately, you're going to feel like you felt with humankind. Uh, it is not completely the same. There are there are some m uh, majorly different mechanics. Um, OK, actually, I won't go that far. It's just it's different enough that it is a game in and of itself is what I want to say. It's more in depth and more complicated uh, than Civ uh, in some areas like the economy and stuff like that. We'll get into it. But 
Hey, why isn't my name Allegis? There we go. Um, that is my name. Now, in the game, you start out here in the main custom settings, of course. You, you've got the number of players you can have, your different maps, uh, your different type of maps like you do in Civ. Uh, you have like continents, islands, inland seas, Pangea. I'm sure in the future they'll probably add more. Um, they'll probably add more. So let's just stick with continents. Uh, map size. Eh, I like going huge. Unlike many other people who want to keep it small or medium, I like space to spread out. Um, I haven't tried huge yet only because I I want to make sure that I can get to the end game without my game crashing because of how big the um, because of how big the uh, uh, what is it the um, God I can't think today uh, because of how big the map size is and the number of players so I'll leave it large for now uh, map seed I can just generate a seed um, It'll, the game will just generate a seed. Um, I can choose my colors um, because because my color scheme here on Twitch is like purple, and, purple and blue. I'm going to stick with purple there. Um, though, if you wanted to, you could create a nation here, which is which is pretty cool. I'm somebody who likes to come up with like somebody who likes to be creative and who likes to write a lot and and world build and stuff like that i really sort of like this idea of the nation builder you can type the name of the nation in you want uh and then you can you know choose its flag unfortunately the only flags you have are the ones that uh, come with the normal countries um in the game so hopefully they'll fix that in the uh in the um in the uh <clears throat> later on down the road in a later patch or whatever um they'll add more hopefully um over here you've got the type of cities uh these are basically i believe just the city names i don't know how many different style or looks of the cities there are um like different sets of the cities so i don't know if there's like a different set for each of these different types I know that these specific ones are for the names of the cities that you'll get and it's the same way with the towns so you can have like Aztec town names, Brazilian town names, Chinese town names, stuff like that. But I don't know how many different styles of cities there are, like different looks for the towns and cities. Then you also have your starting unique, um, your starting unique uh god i can't okay you're starting unique um uh ability that's the word i was thinking for uh, thinking of unique ability <clears throat> you can do anything from like uh you can start with like a scout or an archer unit a uh scout uh warband unit like or you can start with like extra warfare xp uh uh improvement points innovation we'll go into that more later on but basically there are there are a lot of different unique abilities you can have um to start out with um the main the main um city or the main empires that come in the game are main uh come with their own sort of unique ability when you click on them however you can of course go in and change uh, the ability choose which one you want to start with um you can see that like for me i think right now discounted pioneers is okay but i think maybe i'll go with something that's a little bit more useful um i think i'm gonna go with um I think I'm gonna go with regional influence, just simply because that'll help with the border, uh, increasing your borders quickly, like making them move out a little more uh, quicker. So I'm gonna start with that. Um, you know what? I'm gonna actually randomize all of the other nations 
see which one see what they get what their unique ability is but yeah i think this is good i think that's how we're gonna start it uh actually because i haven't really fully understood how the game works like later on down the game i'm going to turn um yeah i'm gonna turn it down to novice okay like i'm not good i don't want to like a full-on challenge just yet i want to learn how the mechanics work and then have a challenge so we'll see what happens let's let's get into this novice novice uh, just double checking all of them is novice continents large yeah everything's good let's go into it so for me i'm i'm really looking forward uh i've really enjoyed the game so far out of the seven hours i've played um for some reason when you look at actually i haven't checked what the reviews are today so just give me one moment i want to see what the reviews are on the store page because when the game first came out yesterday i was actually telling my friends uh that i play with on a daily like matt and them um the the game reviews were mixed and so i decided you know what i'm gonna go and check them out and see what it was because i did pre-order it um so it's still mixed but it looks like the number of reviews um so now there's 600 v reviews still mixed but let's see um uh there we go uh purchase no not purchase type i want to know okay so there's more positive reviews now than negative which is really good to see because i've enjoyed my time here and uh time playing the game and most people didn't like the game because like if you look the game's like first the first complaint a lot of people have are is the graphics if you look at the graphics, you know, they're sort of like Civ 4 style graphics. And you know what? Civ 4 doesn't, like, to me, it doesn't bother me. Really, like, when I first looked at it, okay, it was, I was like, eh, I don't know if I really like it. But really, it's sort of changed my mind. Like, I, it doesn't really bother me as much. I really like the concepts in the game, and so that sort of outweighs it. Um, the second thing is you might have noticed on the start screen um, that the game doesn't have online multiplayer yet. It only has cloud hot seat, which, um, you know, some people don't like that idea or didn't like the fact that it only uh, came with cloud hot seat and it didn't um, come with full multiplayer. But, you know, that that doesn't bother me very much. It'll come eventually, I'm sure um so just give it time uh so it looks like uh coming in here i have a coast which is very nice i have um what is this Fiox, fiax some sort of flower i'm not sure what it does what that does yet and what is this marble okay that's a that's a fairly decent start so let's move let's let's follow the river down and see what's down this way so you'll you'll notice that right off the bat it's sort of a very similar style civ game or a uh, very similar style to civ i should say i want to make sure everybody knows that this is a different game than civ um just most people compare it to civ because it is sort of a somewhat historical 4x turn-based strategy game um i want to also mention that it's by paradox interactive um so this is them trying to jump in to the to this market of um turn-based strategy game uh trying to make for axis sort of which, which you know what i kind of like that idea you know i like the idea that um frac uh paradox is trying to jump in here and sort of give uh potentially give Firaxis a run for its money so i think that's pretty cool um so anyway there are five techs in the age of stone which is our first age i believe there's 10 ages um no yeah there's 10 possible ages i think they said god i can't remember like there's a lot of information but anyway we'll get into it later 
Um, in order to get to the next age, the Age of Bronze, I need to research three technologies before I can research the Age of Bronze. So I think I want to know more about the world quickly. Uh, I'm going to get scouting. This will give me, let's see, uh, units to move through towns to, uh, to be built on. Uh, oh, oh, wait, no. Allows unit to, units to move through and towns to be built on jungle and deep forest terrain. Okay, interesting. Uh, lookout building, basically it'll give us some exploration XP, coastal attack, um, what is it, uh, provides uh, defensive, uh, defensiveness with lookout uh, on build, plus one border vision, upgrade, uh, Upgrade line tower level one and then an actual scout unit. So let's start with that. Then this is like the build menu in Civ. You can build different, um, you can build different buildings here and units. Uh, I think I'm going to start with an actual scout. So the scout is automatically unlocked. What will happen here is it will like once that tech is researched, I'll get a free scout unit. I'll get a free scout unit for researching that tech. So let's move down this way. And the other cool thing is like, unlike Civ where it starts fourth, uh, in 4000 BC, or BCE as this game goes, um, there's no real difference between BC and BCE. Um, BC is more of the, the sort of Christian um, terminology uh, that they use for the calendar, uh, while BCE is sort of removing, like, removing any sort of religious con context to the calendar, and it's mainly used by, like, scientists and that, uh, by the scientific community. But there's no really real difference. Uh, 4000 BC is the same as 4000 BCE. It just stands for BC stands for before Christ, whereas BCE starts uh, uh, stands for be, uh, before Common Era. Just just for a little just a little fun fact for everybody to know. Um, but either way, what, what's cool about this game is that this, unlike Civ, where it starts in, at, um, in 4000 BC, this one starts at, um, this one starts in 10,000 BC, which is pretty cool, I think. You know, it spans a larger time. It gives you a larger time span than, um, than, uh, Civ does, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, what's not so cool is this might be a lake, and I am not liking that. Ooh, we got a tribal village, which is the, uh, which is the same as a goody hut in Civ. Well, uh, which is the same as a, um, tribal village in Civ. It'll give you, uh, what we call, or what many players call goody huts. Uh, they'll give you, like, uh, possibly, like, a scout unit or an archer unit or money or culture or whatever. Um... <clears throat> So here's something else that's unique to this game is that you have a government power or domain power here. Um, this is one of your gov. This is a government power here. Oh wait, no, this is culture. Eh. See, I I shouldn't be explaining how this game works when I've only played this game for about a little bit less than eight hours. Okay, so this is a culture power. Um, that I have there's gonna be more down the road, but right now the only two I have are create town and uh, Local reforms because I don't have really anything improved. There's no point in going a local reform I could expand by creating a town now this town would basically be an extension of this Istanbul region it will act as like a puppet town to Istanbul so I guess you could say kind of like a suburb, but really it's its own town, but it's mainly controlled by Istanbul. So, mm, 
I mean, it would give us access to the fish here, regardless of if it's a lake or not. It would also help us expand into this forestry area, which is pretty good because we can get some wood. So I'm going to create a town. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to create a town about right here. Now, just so everybody knows, this all this is also trial by a uh, trial and error right now because I am no expert by any means. So yeah, so we'll have Nigbolu. Okay, so interesting. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. I, mean, I apologize if that's not how it's pronounced, but that's the name of that town. These seven. All right, perfect. We now have my scout unit. I am going to bring my warband unit back this way, just in case we run into some barbarians. I'm going to move this into the tribal village. A massive, uh, a massive uh, temple pyramid lays before you. Uh, its contents and purpose are unknown. Send an expedition to explore the intricate carvings, or we can enter the temple and take whatever we find. So this under um, for domain, this uh, under our domain powers, which we'll get into a bit later, um, I can either get exploration XP or um, military XP. Ah. Uh I'm going to go uh, exploration. Let's get some exploration XP. Okay. Ooh, this area looks nice. It looks, it might be good for a second city down this way. Might have to found a city maybe over here and this would give us more access to like this wheat resource uh, or these two wheat resources. And then this, uh, cattle cattle and uh and game resources Ooh, okay so now that we've finished our scouting um you know what um let's get a let's increase our um our influence to uh let's increase our influence to allow for faster border expansion uh, I believe this is called a dol dolmen. Dolmen. I believe. Oh, okay. Next turn, 8,500. Is that a... S Did I get a second scout? Oh, I must have finished my technology, I guess. Or okay, am I going crazy? Because I thought I moved that scout. No, I have a second scout. Okay. I must have finished the the scouting tech. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we have the te we have the uh, coast, which is very nice. I'm glad we're not as far inland as I thought we were. Okay, so I'm going to bring I want to see what's down this way. I'm not going to go too much further south with this, um, with this war band because they're going to be, they're going to have to protect my city, uh, in case of barbarians. So I was right. Scouting is finished. Um, we could get the two wheat resources done, uh, by going with, um, uh, with uh, farming or we could do workers movement points play pit ah! or knowledge that's this is a tough one because these three are pretty good because you want to stay ahead with in turn in this game you really want to stay ahead of time because the thing is, is that the first, the difference is, is the first person 
who re uh, researches the next era um, will drag every player into that next era or age. I want to say era, but I mean age. Um, though they're basically the same thing, but in this game it's called an age. So I'll try to stick to that. Um, so whoever uh, researches the age of bronze first will drag every other player into that age so that's why i'm trying to think of like okay what would benefit me the most there and it's probably tribal elders i'd like to do farming but right now i think i'm gonna go tribal elders to get the knowledge and uh because this building here the council this will give us plus one knowledge which will be very uh, very lucrative for researching text a lot faster. Hmm. Ooh, I also do like the fact that we've got a heavily forested area over here. I'm going to have production out the wazoo here. We'll be having production out the wazoo right here. And I've also got mountains, which provide, uh, which also provide a good, um, a good, uh, protection good natural protection from barbarians and other enemies which unfortunately my scout is running into so i'm going to move my scout back that way um i'm going to move my warband back to istanbul i'm gonna do the same here because there are two barbarian units coming over from that way so i'm going to um move them back Overall, not as bad of a uh, not as bad of a start as I first thought when I saw it. So, oof! I really do not like the fact that there is a barbarian. Let me let me try to move down this way. Because scouts like in Civ are not meant for are not meant for uh they're not meant for fighting they're meant for exploring so yeah they're pretty weak when it comes to fighting let me move these guys back up and turn The other p thing people were complaining about this game with, I should mention, is the fact that like some people have been having issues with um, with performance. But truthfully, for me, I haven't really noticed any issues with performance. Um, so for me, it's not a big deal. I have a pretty beefy PC. I think I'm not really much of a. Uh, I'm not really much. I don't really have much knowledge when it comes to uh, computers and that, but I know for, I know many people have, many people have told me that I have a really beefy PC, so I'm trusting them when they say that. It's, it's about a year old, a year, or no, it's actually going on two years now, I believe. Wow. It's crazy to think how fast time flies. Like I've had this, I've had this computer since May, I want to say of 2022. And there is another goody hut right there. Another tribal village. Yeah, let me just make, yeah, tribal camp. Oh, oh I met another nation. Who is it? Let's see who is it France okay okay what is, what's their unique ability extra movement okay not the best I don't think to me not the best uh, ability they could have started with but that's okay and they seem far enough away right now but I have heard that the AI in this game likes to aggressively settle so I will have to keep an eye out. Ooh, excuse me. I will have to keep an eye out for that. Oh, there's their capital right there. 
Okay. Interesting. I'm going to move my warband right there. Oh, now it says I've met a nation. You will address us with respect if you know what's good for you. Okay, I don't like how we met. Uh, I don't like how we, um, they uh, came off there. Okay. Coming on strong there, buddy. <laughs> Gotta say. Um, the other thing you can do is instead of building improvements, like in, um, in Civ, uh, a lot of improvements were done through the build menu here. Um, would be done through the build menu. But in this game, you have what's called improvement points. Um, improvement points allow you to construct, uh, construct uh, improvements in the area around you. That would be done by workers in Civ. So um, if you look here, so far, the only thing I can build is a hunting camp, um, which I mean, let's see, uh, could definitely help me in getting some more food in my city. These are the eligible areas I can put them. Um, I think I'm going to put the hunting camp right here. So the hunting camp will be built right away, as you can see, and it'll come online. Um, I could, if I wanted to, move a guy over to work it. They already have. Um, the uh, the uh, city already moved over a worker to start working it, so that's good. Um, but yeah, these improvement points allow you to build things that workers would improve uh, in Civ 5 and Civ 6. So it's sort of a little bit simplified, but I kind of like, or it's not really that that it's more simplified it's more it's just more done by a different different mechanic so i am completely fine with that let's move around reveal more of their capital so they're uh that's their smaller town of verdun they've done like i did uh and put a town to help expand a lot faster let me move my warband over just to see if those barbarian units are still there. Because I'd like to get the experience. Ooh, tech research. Perfect. So tribal elders are now done. I can build the... Um, the uh, what is it? The council. for one, uh, That'll give me one extra knowledge. Right now, because I'm only making... How much knowledge am I making? Two. One knowledge right now would definitely help. Um, the next thing I want to do is... I'm trying to decide between... I'm trying to decide between farming and workers. Scout, um, or defenses would also be pretty good. Um, you know what? Let's go workers. Let's get workers to get those extra improvements, the extra improvement points. It'll allow us to start, like, building foresters and st stuff, I believe. Ooh, there is a barbarian unit in the way. That's not good. So I'm going to move my warband back this way. Okay, there's their capital of Bordeaux. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so I have enough for another, um, another cultural ability. Or I can come in here and use my tribal, um, my government power here. So this is sort of like um, the Civ Five, um, the Civ Five. God, it's been so long since I played Civ Five, um, <clears throat> but 
this is kind of like the the um culture trees that you had in Civ 5 where you have the um where you sort of work up with a couple of different um abilities but you know and each uh each tribal uh government every nation that has a tribal government has the same five but every different type of government has their own sort of unique abilities uh for me i am probably gonna get the i'm probably gonna get the raised tribal army ability because i want to keep my area safe i'm also going to probably get the pl the plus one improvement that's pretty good i like that uh i'm also going to because i can't create right now istanbul can only um can only uh build one town right now they're only allowed uh this one town here um i can't use the ability again to create another town so instead uh i'm gonna use this eureka which will um immediately gain knowledge uh advancing the currently researched technology eureka is less effective each time it is used uh in a single age so this is our first time that we are uh using a eureka so we should get a lot of research from it or or a lot of knowledge so let's take a look oof look how much knowledge we got from that so that was that's awesome so we're almost done that third tech and we'd be able to go into the next age i want to run away from these barbarian units because uh that is a, that is my scout i don't want to hurt i don't want them getting hurt so i'm going to try and move these guys down this way to attack them and get some uh military experience now that we know where bordeaux is we could think about trying to go to war with them but i want to protect my area first workers are complete so now if you look i have all three completed all three techs needed for it it'll take me 11 turns to uh research the age of bronze tell you right now i'll probably not be the first one to to research it so it kind of sucks but um because if you if you do uh if you do research an age first you get a bunch of innovativeness which will help you oh it doesn't show us what our in a in a eh. it doesn't show us what our innovativeness is right now but basically it'll give you a um a boost to innovativeness which would allow you to um get some unique events which will help you a lot with it so just know innovativeness is good and researching a new age first will uh allow you to get some innovativeness which will increase the chances of ha you having a good event happen to you it's up this way Ooh, undiscovered landmark okay that's another good thing uh, if you move your scout next to uh, an undiscovered landmark, only a scout can do this, but they will discover it. Let me... Ooh. Okay, I think I can risk it. Um, I'm going to discover the landmark. So basically, for me discovering it first, I gain uh, plus five exploration XP, one discovered landmark, and ten combat XP. What this will do is it'll give my unit combat um exploration experience so it'll uh it'll get me closer to promoting a unit to a leader for one and for two uh and for two it will help me on my journey to possibly researching an alternative good age uh after the age of bronze so let me go next turn. Uh, yeah, this is the pro. Okay. Uh, 
I definitely do not like that. So I'm going to move my army back there. Uh, where's my scout? There they are. Come down this way. Ooh. Okay. So I got to deal with this. My scout is going to die, probably. But this is the new... Ooh. This is the battle window. Some pe A lot of people don't like it. I find it kind of cute. You know, uh, or maybe cute's not the right word. Uh, it sort of gives you, a, to me, it sort of gives me a little bit of nostalgia for, you know, the old, uh, what, the old, like, 90s, early 2000s era games where you could see, like, your units fighting in the, um, in the window there. I think it's pretty neat. Um, <clears throat> Only thing is, is that the it's sort of, I, it's sort of simplified compared to Civ because you don't control the units, but the um, the different units you can build and the different unit combinations you can have in your armies is much more in depth. In depth, from what I hear. God, I'm saying a lot, but. And I'm and it sounds like I know what I really I'm really talking about, but truthfully, like I haven't experienced a full game yet. So just bear that in mind. So my army should be able to defeat him, defeat this or ugh, defeat this barbarian. I promise there's nothing wrong with me. It's just for some reason I can't speak right now. English is not working for me. <laughs> Yay, we won our first battle. Woohoo! Okay. So we are going to stay away from those barbarians if we can. So I'm going to move these guys up this way. Ooh, and we also have what looks to be an independent people over here. So I'm going to try and go down this way. Okay, interesting. Uh, Megara. Okay. So I could, if I wanted to, move down units and attack this nation and possibly turn them into an uh, into a vassal. Or I can turn them into a vassal by moving a unit down there and or an envoy down there and uh, vassalizing them. So I could spawn another scout if I wanted to because I have enough exploration points. Uh, sure. Let's get another scout. Uh, you know what? I, I think I will raise another tribal army right there. It'll help better protect my territory or a war band. Um, let's see, do I have any? Oh, I have lots of, um, I have lots of improvement points. So I think I'm going to start with a... No, wait. Hold on. That wasn't the right thing I wanted. I want to get a Forester. I'm going to place it right there. That'll help get me some wood. You see here, I'm starting to get uh, logs, which, again, the economy in this game seems to be much more in-depth than in Civ. You can actually have full-on production chains within your city and between your cities, which is pretty cool. So we'll see what happens with it. Uh, this scout, you know what? Go to the east, see if there's still any barbarians there. Nope. Okay, good. Warband unit. We'll have to wait till next turn to... Uh... Yeah, get the um, get the council to get that one extra knowledge. Ah. <laughs> uh. 
I mean, we could do the one extra food. Oh. We could do the one extra food if we wanted to. I mean... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm also going to do the clay pit. I'm gonna put it right here. Move these guys uh, over here. Move the war band over here for now. Move them there. Get ready to attack those barbarians. Uh, you remember how I said that that the game likes to, or the AI likes to aggressively expand? Yeah. Um. France, I don't like what you just did. So, um, yeah, no. That's, that's not gonna, that's not gonna work for me. Uh, my scout's probably gonna die. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wait, no, they're still alive. Very surprised. All right. I don't want to run. I don't want to do that. Fuck. No, we'll get that one extra food. Uh, as much as I don't want to, I'm going to have to get the war bands next. I'm going to have to get more war bands because I'm going to have to like I'm going to have to uh, attack, bum rush, and attack the uh, Montpellier. So, as much as I don't want to, as much as I want to get the uh, the extra knowledge. Oh, they attacked me. Okay. As much as I want to get the extra knowledge, um, I need to take out that. Um, I need to take out those, uh, that city. And here I thought humankind was bad for that. Because trust me, humankind is bad for it. As you saw in our, in mine and Matt's previous series there. Um, or their most recent series. Uh, this game, it's also highly, they are also highly aggressive. I do not like that. So I think I'm probably going to have to take him out. So. Uh, just saying goodnight to my parents. Uh, I'm gonna turn myself up just a little bit because for some reason the uh, microphone lowered my volume. Ah, uh, they won't stop following me. Oh god. Well, my scout's dead. Okay. Nothing I can really do there. Oh, hmm. Oh, they're being besieged by... Ooh. I would have to declare war on them, which sort of sucks, but... Yeah, I'm nowhere near... Oh, God. I'm nowhere near ready to go to war with France yet. I need a couple more units. I'll take the extra knowledge at this point. Let me see, can I demand that they give that to me? No. Uh, my 
study France diplomatic opinion toward the Ottoman Empire. Um, coin demand, religious conversion demand, and war interpretation. Yeah. Take another war band. Oh, something's happening. Okay, who researched it first? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, it was me. Oh, okay. I'm gonna turn myself down just a little bit. Yeah, it was me. All right, and I'm still peeking. Give me one moment. It was me. Awesome. So this is the age of bronze. Uh, in this age, new national spirits are unlocked. Vassals integrate two times faster during the age of bronze. Um, barbarian warlords may appear. Innovation and chaos uh, events may appear. And trade and diplomatic envoys are available. Okay. So these are the new... Let me just make sure what time is it? 7.30. Okay. Um, so the, these three new things are available. Nash, um, new domains. So I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, new domains, diplomacy and engineering. Um, normal spirit uh, or national spirits are now available. And new system trade. Let's enter the age. So now let's look at the text. These are the new text, but first I want to grab defenses. I want to be able to get archers to attack France. Um, but yes, these are some of the new texts that we'll get into. Um, we need three more texts to be able to research the next age. This is what I was talking about before. So the normal age here is the age of iron. Once we research the, uh, once we research, uh, three texts, we'll be able to go into here or depending on the situation, uh, we could take, uh, a different, uh, we could take a different path through history or an alternative path, which is either the age of blood in which it is a very hard age because literally everybody will be at war with each other. Um, so it's, it, it's a crisis age. And in order to get, go into it, you need, uh, you need to have killed, uh, units from other nations. You need to have killed at least six from other, uh, from units from other nations. So if I kill six of France's units, I will be forced to go into the age of blood, which is not great. I don't know if I want to go into that. Um, or alternatively, if I discover three landmarks, I've already discovered one. So if I can find two more, I could choose to go into the age of heroes. That's going to be interesting if I, if I can do that. But for right now, I've got to focus on my war with, oh, wait, no. First, I got to choose my, um, my national spirit. And because I'm first... I get to choose what national spirit I want. Now, national spirits, uh, it provides a unique set of uh, bonuses. So if you go into like ancient uh, seafarers, you can get a bunch of different unique abilities here. Um, like you can get, uh, uh, you can get uh, strong, uh, stronger early ships. You can get, um, spawn unit uh spawn utility ship domain power you could also th there's a bunch of things here um and each one has a unique ability or unique abilities but the cool thing is is because i um because whatever one i choose um 
I'm the first one to choose it. I will get a unique ability or uh, some extra points in whichever one I, uh, whichever domain I go for, um, which is pretty cool in my opinion. I think that's really neat. It makes it so that you choose something different than everybody else, which I think is really neat. Um, but anyway, I think I'm going to go with the naturalists because uh, I can get plus one food from foraging, unimproved tiles, um, reduced cost of expansion into forest, and I've got a ton of forest, uh, reduced cost of expansion into deep forest, and I've got a bunch of that, uh, know the terrain, plus two defense for uh, forest defender, plus two housing, um, you can also do plus two food, um, I just think a lot of these are really good for me to choose. Uh, I could go, I guess, if I wanted to go military, I could go raiders or warriors if I wanted to. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think what, what one I want. I I think naturalists are pretty good, but I kind of also want to go warriors possibly. Again, this is trial and error. So if I mess up, I mess up, you know, um, but I got to choose. So I think, I think, you know what? I will go with naturalists because I, I want to, I want to use that force to my advantage. So I'm going to select that. So I'm going to guard. And because France is still in the, uh, Age of Stone, I think I'm more advanced than them, so I should be able to handle it. No guarantees. Oh, God. Let's see. Am I going to be able to sneak past them? I don't think so. Okay. Another Warband unit. Perfect. Also doesn't have any... Also doesn't have any walls. That'd be great if I can get one more. One more warrior. Or one more warband so that, you know. I don't want to wait any I don't really want to wait too much longer because if I do they may get walls up and I don't like that yeah oh god okay I'm screwed either way, unless they leave me alone this turn. I'm screwed either way. Diplomacy. Power score. I, I don't really know what the power score is. So... Declare hostilities. Huh. Can I not declare war? Did I... I guess I have to wait one more turn. Cultural power, ooh. Um. 
I'm going to raise an army. There we go. Ooh, so my city just grew. Oh God. Yup. My scout is dead. I want to be able to move in here. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I want to know why it's not allowing me. Diplomatic action available three turns. Damn. That might be what it is. Ooh. Defenses finished. Okay. <sighs> Done that. So now I can move on over here. Community. Uh, do I want to do community or do I want to do discipline? Uh, I don't really have any wool or cotton right now. What would this do? So I could bu build a market, I think, or no, crane building, one improvement point, uh, kiln, all right. Saw pit, uh, or wait, wait. Turn, wait. Converts three logs into lumber. Perfect. Actually, I'm going to go community. And I do have enough points. I should be able to build a... Where is it? Um. Ooh, I don't have enough food. Eek. Uh, fishing boats. Fishing boats. Can I also by chance get a forester? No. But I will get a... No, I won't get a hunting camp because I should be fine. Yeah, 133 of 134. Yeah, I have eight of eight food. I'm gonna save up. For, uh, save up for that. Next. What's over here? Now I want that council building because I believe I have enough now. Ah, two more turns. Okay. So what do I have here? I have a war band. Okay. So let me see, I could raise an army, no, I'll, I'll, no, I'll let myself build up a little bit. Um, I am, however, going to build a forester, uh, another forester in here. Can I? Oh, no, I don't have, uh, I can't build another one yet. Damn. Okay. Well, it looks like I can build up my improvement points. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'll do is I'll let my stuff build up, my improvement points build up, and then I can do a, guard, next.
Ooh, also I can grab that plus one knowledge and I'm going to do that right now. That's actually a really good idea. And then now I believe I'll be able to take out that city. Because truthfully, I would rather the city be... Oh, you are kidding me. Ah, uh, barbarians, why? Oh, no. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. I've got a warlord right here. fun okay can I declare war now please yes uh, restore neutrality send gift now the this is the thing with like um, this is the thing with diplomacy it's also very sent um, it's also very uh, um, simplified as you can see there's only a few there's only a few things that I can do, which sort of sucks, but, you know, it's sort of another criticism. I wish there was some more thing to do with diplomacy, but they are still working on the game. So, you know, that's a that's a good thing. So let's declare war. Message sent. Ooh. Oh, they have a stronger army than I do. See if we can do it. Oh, they have a leader. Okay, this is gonna be very difficult. Oh god. I did not realize they had a leader. Great. Yeah, one of my guys is going to die. Oh, God. And I can't undo it. Oh, God. Wow. What the hell? Really? That is... That is absolutely bullshit. Wow. They just destroyed my entire army. Can I undo? Oh, yeah, that's what the hell. So what does sieging do? Okay. I don't know what it does. What does this do? Oh, it doesn't really do anything. Night at all upgrade? No, I can't. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, crap. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff there. I'll see if sieging does anything. I'm going to try not to use that undo button, but. Yeah. 
Oh, that this is barbarian warlord again. God, it's like doing no damage to him. Wow. The people I saw play this game is, uh, did, are doing, did much better than I, than I did. I'm doing, God. They made it look really easy. Okay, let's let's move back. I gotta I gotta heal up. Alright. I gotta get more units. Oh my god. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Like I said, this is a work in, like this is a sort of work in progress for me like or a trial and error sort of like a f around and find out right uh, yeah these guys are gonna die oh my god uh this sucks so much So this is just more the tutorial good chains uh good chains uh that you're that you gather with uh one improvement can be combined with resources gathered by uh other improvements to produce more valuable uh commodities uh with uh wheat gathered by a farm provides food if you build a mill that wheat can be converted into flour uh, worth even more food some good uh, chain some goods chains uh, offer flexibility logs gathered by a forester provide more production if they are turned into planks at a sawmill the same logs could also be sent to a uh, paper maker to produce paper for wealth or that paper could be sent to a printing press to make books and so on okay to see the improvements and goods in your uh, region, click the name above your above one of your cat uh, region capitals, then select workers tab. Okay. Yeah, so this is what I have so far. So I've got fish, I've got logs, and I've got I've got clay. Uh, how long until how long until my thing is completed. Okay, good. Let's get a warrior or a warband. Uh, guard, just heal up and then we'll try again. I know we're probably going to have to, you know, send a bunch down there a bunch of units it's just i was not prepared for the barbarian warlord and for the um and for the uh what is it the um uh, i can't think of it the um leader in the um in the city so we'll get some volunteers these are not Oh, it's another warband. Okay, that's good. Can I improve anything? Um, I 
don't think I can get a pasture. I don't have anything to put a pasture on. I should go to dock. Um, dwelling. What would that have? provide? Plus three. Housing plus one wealth. Pain plus two plus. Plus point eight unrest from what? Region level. What am I gaining unrest from? That's, the, that's my. Oh, from war unrest. Okay, yeah. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so I'm going to have to be quick about it. Oh, more barbarians. My God, they're everywhere. I think there's probably a camp around there. Oh God, this is driving me nuts. They're attacking me from all sides. Okay, I'm gonna move these guys up while those guys are charging or recharging, whatever, healing. God, I can't think of Okay, so there's a barbarian encampment there. A saw pit will turn three logs uh, to three lumber. Okay. Let's put it there. I think that'll probably be the best spot for it. So I finished community. That's pretty good. Okay. Um, Let's do Disappoint next. Yeah, I had a feeling they would do- Oh, yeah, they're dead. Oh my god. And then you got these. Alright. dead oh they moved their guys out let's see what is the Yeah, the leader is basically like a warlord, basically. Like a barbarian warlord. It's very hard to beat. Oh my god. This is... If we could just kill one of their units, it would be very helpful. Okay. You guys, I 
Let's come there. Range of idle. Let's see. Um Yeah, let's get let's get defenses up because they're probably gonna attack us more. back in their city no okay at least destroy that their archer unit Okay, so we killed one of their units, which is good. Okay, so we killed off both of those. But as you can see, it's almost gonna it's gonna be almost impossible. Oh wait, wait, wait. Okay, he's he's Alright, good. Can I attack no, next turn. Alright. Okay, so things are looking interesting right now. So culture power, I don't think I can use yet. Could raise tribal army, but how much am I losing right now? Well, I'm not losing any. Uh, can I do anything in naturalist? No. You know what? I'm going to save that ability until I actually need. come that way you guys come back down this way just see if there's anybody who can We're gonna win that. Okay. So kill that. There we go. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Come on, kill him. Kill him. Yeah. All right. There we go. That's what we needed. The blood oh no okay so the blood age crisis grows stronger as you kill non-barbarian units if it reaches maximum you will be forced into the blood age as the future oh god that's gonna suck if that's the case but it is what it is so we'll move these guys back I'm gonna try to take Montpellier before, um, before I go on break. So let's see. 
It's a draw, so let's find, let's see what happens. Okay, so. Now that they don't have their leader anymore, it's not a complete loss, 100% loss. that was going to happen. That's fine. There we go. Defenses are set up. 3400 BC. Ooh, innovation tree houses. The people of the Ottoman Empire have begun constructing networks of camps and outposts high in the canopy line of the nation's forests. Uh, so accept, but what would that do? Let's see. Plus one housing, uh, from foraging, unimproved forest tiles, or 300 wealth. Let's do foraging. Let's, let's accept that. That's awesome. All right. Oh, we can, we can kill these guys. Easy. There we go. I just want to get up and grab that goody hut there. Oh. Come here and then. Attack. Oh. oh god, okay. See what I mean? They're pro it, it like doing this, it's going to take a lot. Oh god. Okay, they're almost dead. Um... Oh God. Uh, you come there. I have to wait another turn. So I am going to probably use that raise that uh, army. Anything else I can build? Um, uh, city production, improvement points. Uh, one clay to one brick. Okay. You're also, ooh, yikes. Okay, so that's next on my list is to get a farm or something. Uh, yeah, not good. All right. So I'm gonna lose this army, but that's okay. I wanna, I wanna, as long as we can get one of these guys, as long as we can kill one of these units, I just want to... Uh, oh. Oh, come on. Ah. Uh, oh, God. Okay. Yeah. 
That didn't work so well. That's fine. That's fine. Region idle. Okay, so we need something that's going to give us food. Um, work camp. Um, crane, meeting hall. Um, work camp, crane. Uh, let's go and camp and because I'm going to need to build a f I'm going to need to build a uh, I got a second thing there. are just so annoying god they're everywhere they can't you can't escape from them and it's the same way in Civ. it's just so annoying well i guess now we know how the romans felt right <laughs> um let's go plus 20 warfare xp because it will it, that'll be really good um naturalists let's see plus one from foraging unimproved tiles uh, reduce cost of expansion into forest. Yes, we need that. Okay, we should be able to take it. We should be able to take this. Come on. Yes. There we go. Come on. Oh, we haven't... Uh-oh. There's one unit gone. Damn. Okay. There's two units gone. Ah, oh, there's one of my units. Damn it. Okay. There we go. All right. Fantastic. So now we need to know what we're going to do. Regional capital conquered. One population killed. 20 wealth looted from population. 31 wealth uh, looted from regional size. And 20 chaos gain. Okay, if our nation controls the future, then it will be one written in blood. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, uh, do I have to keep it? Oh, no, I didn't want to keep it. I want to destroy it. I'm probably going to have to do it in a peace deal, but okay. So one city captured. Oh God. Okay. So one city completely captured. I'm happy for that. That's good. Okay, so we're gonna back out of that. So let's see, can I offer peace? No! Oh god, I didn't can I can I undo that? Ah Oh, 
Okay. Well, that's gonna have to be how it is for right now, because... So, I'm gonna go, uh, go take a break for about 10 minutes. I will be right back. Hey guys, I am back. I'm streaming again. Hey, uh, for some reason I didn't notice that the internet or that the, uh, stream stopped. Um, it was really weird why it did that. Um, I can't, I didn't see it on my, uh, dashboard here on my mobile live dashboard. And I didn't see that it had stopped on, on, uh, the, um, on the actual, on, on Twitch itself. So what I'm going to do, why is it not saying I'm streaming? What is going on? I... Oh. It's... It's showing that I'm live. It's showing... I am so confused. Why is it doing this? Okay. I gotta... I gotta... Give me one second, guys. I have really got to see why it's doing this. My... Oh! Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. All right. So... Let's... Let's keep... Uh, let's go back into the game. Um, so, when the game stopped, I was on... Like, I just announced that the Blood Age happened. Um, I just asked France if they would peace out. And I successfully took, um, I successfully took, um, hold on. Uh, actually, I'm I gonna, successfully took, can I, um, hold on. I'm gonna lower the volume there. Uh, just to be sure that I can see the, uh, the stream. I took Montpellier, so... I'm, I'm happy about that, but Istanbul is struggling. I got to get some food for it. Um, what is it build? What is it currently building right now? Okay, so it's currently building an encampment. Uh, do I have? No, I don't have enough. I improvement points. Um, but we'll see. Ooh. I have a unit up here that I can attack. Just in case. Oh, I can't do it till next turn. Okay. So guard, because they're going to die in turn. So Montepellier, I actually managed to attack. All right. We take your peace offer and acknowledge uh, acknowledgement of... Uh -huh. Okay, sure, buddy. Yeah, I took your city. Shut up. <laughs> it's like, okay, sure, sure. You, you're superior. So as of right now, guys, you can see that Montepellier is... Is a vassal. Um... And the game is frozen. Fantastic. Okay, wait. No, it's not. Okay. There we go. Montpellier is a vassal. It's going to take some time to integrate. It's going to work at, like, it's going to build its own stuff. And, uh, it'll... Yeah, it'll build its own stuff and it'll be my vassal, basically. So... Hopefully they learned their lesson. Don't, don't do that again. Don't aggressively expand, though guaranteed they probably didn't learn their lesson. Um, and I'm going to keep uh, an army here. Actually, no, keep it in the city. Guard. Wait till they get back to full health. And then these 
guys can live there. One of them should have a bum uh, have a upgrade soon. Ah, there. Actually, there we go. So now I have a leader, which is really good. So I'm going to move the archer back into the city, I guess, next turn. Yeah, my my guy is dead. I just wanted to get the. Yeah, there's there's no point, but I wanted to get the goodie hut, so, you know. Yeah, there's nowhere for me to go. Great. Uh. France, go away. Seriously, I literally just finished my uh, a war with you. Don't make me come over there again. So I guess I'm going to have to deal with them. I'm going to have to deal with the barbarians. Luckily, I have my defenses, my defenses up, so it's all good. There we go. to a spear oh there we go cool upgrade okay cool um, okay. so now we have one of those Choose tech. Okay, so discipline is done. So that's why I was able to build the spearmen. Okay. Uh, reinforcements, uh, forced march, and. Ooh, improved maximum army size. Good. Uh, I think I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab the last tech um, farming. Yeah, so I am stuck with the age of blood. So hopefully it won't be me going, uh, won't be me researching the future tech because I do not want to be in the, in that age. <laughs> okay, I'm going to build another hunting camp. So there we go. Get, uh, Istanbul some food. Together, they can guard. Come on, guard. Oh, I need three warfare XP to upgrade them. Okay. 
Am I gaining any? No, I'm not. Okay, that's fine. Next turn. Twenty nine hundred BCE. Okay. <clears throat> so farming is complete. Um, oh, let's get officials next. Or what is mining? <coughs> Use cultural power. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, no. Cutting edge, I can raise army, I can... Wait, how is my wealth generation doing? I'm negative two. So I am going to want to probably increase my innovativeness at the moment. Uh, I'm not doing so hot right now. I need to find a way to make some money. How many battles we will need to win before you pay us? Oh, okay, dismiss. Okay. Let's get some experience with barbarian units. next turn okay Upgrade and then Oh god, okay, so negative three. Uh the blood yeah, I know about that. How do I just let me see, is there a way okay I can mess up like that. Okay. 
Put that guy down there. Guard. Well, actually, no. I wanted... Uh, no, actually, you come back up that way next time. So what I'm going to do... Is get a... Is get another archer. What? Oh, Crisis Ages. At, uh, at least one nation in the game can advance to the Age of Blood. Crisis Ages come about when your nation meets or fails to meet certain requirements. Depending... Okay, let me... Let me uh, depending on the age, locking you out... Uh, wait, depending on the age, locking you out of uh, advancing into any other age. You can avoid advancing into a Crisis Age if another nation advances into a different age first. The Age of Blood is a crisis age, a kind of age that is generally poor for everyone involved. There are some niche uh, advantages that you might be able to turn into opportunities to get ahead, such as every nation being locked into a state of permanent war. Uh, select the research uh, meter at the top left, then click Age of Blood to start moving into the Blood Age. If you're really, if you're ready for the challenge, if the Age of Blood is not available to you, first you must kill enough non-barbarian units to reach that age. Okay. Um, yeah, I know about that. Kind of figured that. And now we got barbarians. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, you guys need a chance to recharge, so I'll move these guys up. Attack them. There we go. Wait, what is this? An envoy. Okay. So we move this down to here. We could move into the Age of Blood if we wanted to. Be in a permanent state of war. I, this is exactly what I didn't want to happen. Uh, this is not good. Okay. Um. I don't really want to, but I'm going to go belief first, and if nobody, uh, if nobody still has researched the next era, oh god, this really sucks. Okay, can I build a farm yet? Oh, wait, yeah, I can. Wait, really? Istanbul doesn't have logs. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my, was my sawmill destroyed? the saw pit engineering three okay so I need more foresters now that I can easily do let me put a thing there Turn. That'll get me another source of logs, I believe. It'll get me another... Really? I only have one source of logs right now? Hmm. Okay, I want... There we go. Wait, no, I wanted... I didn't want... Where's the fish? Oh, okay, I want one fish at the very least. 
Oh, there's only two people. Okay. See, I'm still learning the game, just like everybody else. Um, go that way. <laughs> oh, no. Uh oh. The countryside outside of Istanbul has become dangerous due to the rise of uh, Bel Belgons. If nothing is done, the Belgon, the or no Brigons, Brigons will gain con will gain uh, confidence and begin harassing the citizens of Istanbul. What should be done? Spawn seasoned barbarians. Oh. That sucks. Okay, how many is there? Oh, oh God. Okay, that's that's not good. Well, I can destroy them. These guys here. And I have no choice. One dead. Okay. Oof. Oh no. Please let me go back in. Please let me go back in. Oh god, the breaking of Oh no. Come on. Oh, this sucks. Ugh. There we go. Okay. Anybody else? No. That's fine. If they try, if they try to attack me, I can, I can get through that. Oh, God, my... Hold on. Oh, okay, good. Okay, I thought my... I thought my computer... I thought my computer died for a sec... Or the, um... Stream died again. Okay, it's not. Okay, good. It's just like I'm real. Uh, if it happens again, then like there's nothing I can really do about it. But yeah, damn it. But yeah, I really do enjoy the production chains in this game. I think it's pretty neat that it's like you know, much, uh, much more complicated. 
like okay it's not overly complicated it's just like you have your normal buildings that you build and then if you have enough stuff like you can go deeper into the production stuff like that Okay, so I can win. There we go. That one's over. Okay, what about this one? guys doing percent I'll say walls are struggling again what are my so reinforcements or forced march what does forced march do fully restore movement points to an army at the cost of 10% of a unit's health or reinforcements uh, restore some of the army's health uh, and morale at the cost of combat XP. Okay. Government, race, tribal army, no. That was my, uh, get up three. Uh, tribal army. I'm gonna have to explore more. Uh, there's so many barbarians around here. It's crazy. Yeah. Ooh, there we go. Innovativeness. So farmers in Ottoman Empire have invented an improved method for plowing their fields. The device will greatly improve the labor needed uh, for plowing fields. Okay. 300 wealth or one bonus food from wheat, flour, and bread. Can I just minimize you from the first second? Wheat, flour, and bread. The only issue I have with... Actually... Yeah. We hope you have learned your lesson, but we won't hesitate to teach you it again. Uh, no, I'm gonna remain hostile. Screw you. <laughs> I'll be eventually going to war with them again, so... Yeah, these barbarians are going to be very easy to take out. There we go. This is an envoy, isn't it? Yeah. Guard. Open negotiation. Oh, okay. Let's not move this turn. I don't see any barbarian encampment unless it's over here. Probably gonna get a scout at some point to go down. Let's check 
technology, belief. I think I'm gonna have to go into the next stage. I have no choice. Well, I mean, I have two more techs, but... I can handle it. Region idle. Okay, so... What's going on? War unrest. Okay, so what's causing it? Oh, minus 16 unrest. So unrest is decreasing, which is good. Meeting hall will give me plus one diplomacy XP. Um, work camp plus three production, engineering. Market will give me one uh, upgrade, uh, one foreign import. Okay, yeah, give me a market. Vassalized minor nation. Very nice. I do like that. So again, this new territory is now, um, is now my vassal, just like, um, Montepellier. Montepellier is pr pretty close to being vassalized. It's about halfway there. So that envoy was destroyed. Uh, let's see, can I let's see if I can take out that encampment? Okay, 1880 BCE. Curious to know whether I can beat it or not. If I can't, I can't. That's fine. Yeah, no. Okay. Oof. I'm probably going to lose one of those units. I'm going to lose them. Okay, still has it. Istanbul. Okay. Try to take it out. Come on. Uh. Oh, this is going to be a close one. Uh, I don't like it. Oh, God. And then I got another. And it's a warlord too. Oh. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay. Let's see what happens. Oh wait. Uh... Oh, yeah, it's an elite barbarian. hundred percent damn okay come back guard 
Or no, you know what? Wait. No, I can't. Oh, they're attacking again. Okay. There we go. So I've got Okay, so I have one lumber now. But I need to get So I need to get another person. I need to Yeah. Wait, how much am I allowed? How many people am I allowed to have? food eight of eight okay so it's growing every let's see every six turns okay I'm going to leave it one more turn and then So let's see what turn is it? Oh, okay. So we are actually two more turns before like the end of the demo was during next fest. So. Oh. Take the timeline into the Age of Blood. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, this is going to suck. <laughs> if I thought that it was hard before, now this sucks even more. <laughs> so in the Age of Blood, all nations are locked into war during the... Uh, all, na all nations are locked into the uh, into war... During this age, unrest from war is disabled, which is good. Unrest from war is disabled, and chaos gained from conquering regions is re uh, conquering regions is reduced by fifty percent. Um, okay, military units have reduced upkeep. Uh, earn warfare XP by killing non-barbarian units. New governments are unlocked. Okay, cool. All right, so we are now in the Age of Blood. Okay, yeah. New new domain uh, available arts, and the Age introduces new governments. Okay, so let's see. Revolution in this age, you gain the ability to adopt a new government. Selecting a government changes the needs and have earnings of your. Uh, and base earnings of your regions. Provide a new set of government ideals and increase your capacity for all domain points. Okay. If you complete the final ideal for your current government, the reformed ideal, can, uh, you can use the peaceful, revo uh, peaceful revolution culture to make the change. Uh, okay. Alternatively, you can select government domain uh, on the left and use the violent revolution domain ability to change your government at the cost of chaos a government idea uh, a government's ideals require that specific government uh, in order to work these ideals are lost when you adopt a new government for example if you uh, adopt the kingdom government any tribal ideals you had uh, unlocked are lost however newer governments are always better than older ones so changing governments quickly is almost always the the right move. Okay. All right. So Age of Blood unlocks coal, gold, and iron. Berserker, crossbow, uh, watch, and civic monument. Peaceful revolution. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Oh, I and that is cool. I like the way that the. I like the way that the the map changes. That's pretty neat. Gotta say. Um, I am going to 
So one more turn, and then after that, I want you to get an archer going. Or no, actually, a crossbow would be good. Because I want to complete this guy, and then... Can I upgrade them? Yeah. Basic improve uh, public improvements. Gain 10 improvement points. Okay. Cool. Uh, tribal. So I can do that. Finish that one off. And then... Ooh, culture. So I got... 24. Oh, wait, what? I don't want to change that. I just. See, I want to look at a new form of government is available. Okay, so how do I change it? Spawn. Oh, it's violent revolution, but I thought I had them all unlocked. Hmm. Okay. So war cancel, a council, horses, smelting. Furnace. Dual Smith, okay. And engineering XP, horses. Brutality. Uh, melee units gain 250 attack against siege towers, okay. Woodstone walls, okay. Skull towers, oof. Preservation, what is this? Increase the number of towns. Um, okay, Salt House. Now again, guys, I never experienced this one, this, um, this age. So, um, I'm just looking through all everything and seeing what I need, what I want to do. Oven, 24, uh, 24 improvement points. Uh, one knowledge. Uh, work in one leather. Ground, build, uh, proving ground, okay. Eight unrest suppression, three wealth, three. Barbarism. Spawn barbarian warlord. Oh, wow. Enlist barbarians. Create Barbarian Encampment. Okay, that's that's actually really cool. I kind of like that. But I think I'm probably going to go with... Um, oh, God. Inform from... Uh, converts one... Ingot? No, oh, I don't have ingots. Um, <sighs> preservation again. I want to just look. Actually, you know what? Let's let's start with brutality. So let me just take a look. What's the next? Oh, okay, so the next age. So. In the next age, it's going to definitely be Age of Kings. So it's um like once you go into like one of these uh uh fighting uh, one of these ages, if you go into like the Age of Heroes or the Age of Blood, the next age will be a normal age. So like you're forced into a normal age once then once this one's over.
<coughs> Excuse me. Basic improvements. Spawn Pioneer. Expand Town. <coughs> so I'm going to move my guys down here just to watch for... <coughs> Gosh! I have major issues here today. A town... See. Local absorb outpost peaceful. Oh, there is peaceful resolution. So our government is outdated and the leaders show interest in reform. Perhaps it is time for a change. Um reconsidered no now is not the best time. Uh yeah, the the revolution will be peaceful. Ooh, okay, so again, in the demo, we never got to pick. We never got to get this far. So you'll have to give me a moment. So we can do an imperial dynasty. New leadership. The nation grows stronger under new leadership. Unlocks the construct palace domain. Increased uh, domain XP. Improvement points, uh, one region level, plus one food, plus one housing, plus one production on palace or every, for every two production in a region, plus one knowledge on palace for every five population in the region, plus one, what is it? Plus one sanitation. Okay, interesting. Or kingdom. Kingdoms are built on the backs of vassals. Okay. They expand their kingdom with cheaper settlers, envoys, and spe spears, uh, and can generate resources off the back of its new vassals at the cost of, cost of prosperity. Um, so, whereas Imperial Dynasty, the Divine Sovereign re reigns over the nation and the palace, Building up the region around it into a shining example of what the nation can be. Meeting its regional needs. Good resources from there. Okay, so kingdom. Let me take a look at kingdoms. So, kingdom, seat of power. So, seat of power. Two government XP, diplomacy. Uh, improvement points. Uh, spawn, minus 30% spawn settler domain power cost. Um... 30% spawn envoy domain power cost. Spawns two spear until uh, units add a vassal. Order research. Uh, over generates knowledge from a vassal based on uh, population and prosperity. Reduces the vassal's prosperity. Reaps, uh, reaps sc uh, scutage. Generates wealth from a vassal based on... Um... Okay, so that's interesting. Um, I've never gone gone either one, and both are good. I just don't know if I'm gonna play tall or wide. You know what? I'm gonna have a coin decide. Heads, imperial, tails, uh, kingdom. Flip a coin. It's tails. Okay. All right. So I guess we're going kingdom. I guess we are going kingdom. Select. And we can do our first one now. Your nation grows stronger. Seat of power. Uh, okay. Improvement points. All right. Perfect. Uh, so... Okay. My big concern right now is that these guys are, uh, uh, they're unprotected. Megara is unprotected. Unprotected. Oh God, I do not like that. 
trade you can build you built a market in one of your regions the market provides a slot for foreign import select one of your capitals with a market make sure the workers tab is selected then select the foreign mar uh, import slot to the right I'm selected then select the foreign import tab to the right as you meet other nations the goods they produce are added to the available uh, are added to those available for import when you have a war or battle uh, or hostile relationship with a nation you lose access to their goods okay well i guess it really doesn't make sense to to keep them anymore well to really do anything with it because right now there's we're really not in a position to really do that right now to import anything because all we know of is france and we are kind of locked into a war so yeah and now we have two okay god oh this is horrible Oh, God. Yeah, I had a feeling they would do this. The last great barbarian king has come to negotiate with the Ottomans, the Ottoman Empire. He is the last of his kind and will not bend to the knee. What should we do? What should be done with him? Uh, two barbarian warlords at each region for all nations. Oh shit. Okay. Well, I've got my army's here to help, so should be okay. Okay, they're gone. Oh god, okay. That is not good. Okay, that's horrible. Alright, so let's let's get rid of these guys. There's an encampment like right there. That is that's oh, oh god. Eh, this is oh fuck. This is absolutely horrible. Oh my god. Wow, this is just ugh. All of the nations must surrender to the might of the kingdom of the Ottoman Empire. That's a little weird to say, but okay. The kingdom's armies enact its will. Uh, enact its will. Three uh, gunpowder units times two attack versus military militias. How much money? Am I okay, so I am making at least some wealth. So accept. I'm gonna just accept that. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, I was getting worried there for a minute. Oh, God. Ah, uh, this, this, this sucks. We'll do this one next. Yeah, I think this guy is... Oh, they hit us double? Oh, this really sucks. Ooh. God, my our walls are almost down, but we survived. Oh, fuck. Oh, Montpellier might not survive. Oh, this. Oh no. <laughs> wow, this game is a bit brutal. Even on easy. Oh my God. Okay. I was done. Oh no, not again. They're attacking twice. Oh god. Okay. Good. Dead. Oh. <clears throat> here. I can almost integrate them. Can I integrate Montpellier? At least, no, I can't. Uh, reinforcements. I don't need that, but I do need to protect my territory. Uh, I... Oh, I can do it here. Okay, good. Spawn a settler. Uh, as much as I would like to, I don't think I should at the moment so i'm gonna increase uh immortal spawn to sp uh, spear envoy no minus 30 percent spawn settler domain power cost actually that might uh, that could help yes Next. um yeah this is this is not good So we have a Berserker unit with us. That should help at least. There we go. Oof. This is 
not great. I know I can just skip these, but I like, unlike some people, I actually like watching them, so I'm gonna watch them. <laughs> This, this is horrible. Where's the other unit? Don't I have? Okay, so there's. Okay. Let's, let's deal with them. <laughs> there we go. Okay, good. Ah, oh, God, and there's another one coming over this way. Oh my God. There's nobody coming there, so I can probably bring these guys up to help. Okay, what's in here that I can... The small village looks very old. Aw, oh, damn. Exploration or government XP. Uh, I'll go exploration. Uh, um, forging... Plus one forging. We're gonna go with that one. I think the forest defense will help us a lot here. See if we can deal with low here. There's one left. Fuck. 
Is that another crossbowman? Yeah, okay. Here, you're, um... Where you come down here? Region idle. Okay. Um... How much food do we have? 158%. There's two people walking or working at food camp. I want that there. One person can work on the fish. One person can work on the hunting camp. Lock that in. Because I want at least, I want to get close to being able to work more on the, um, to work on the, uh, oh God, the, the saw pit. Rest, I don't have any unrest right now. Upgrades. Temple. One culture crane, one encouragement point. Food stockpile. Actually, that might be a good idea. Yeah, let's get a food stockpile. Oh, I can't. I so I can move now. Okay. easy. The barbarians have left behind distinguished looking artifacts in their camp. Very nice. Um, uh, how much wealth do we actually have? 104? Let's get a hundred. Uh, you know what? Plus 15 culture. Oh god. Okay, so let's move back. Oh god, they're not all healed yet. Oh. Oh god. I think we're gonna lose one one unit. Probably. Ugh. Oof, that was close. We've really gotta take out this encampment. And fast. Culture power, what can I do? Cutting edge.
Oh, I can't. I need 25. Oh, that just gained me 10 improvement points. It really doesn't help that much. Ah, uh, that's... Mm. Well, I have two, two foresters right now, so I will get a third forester, I guess. Actually, I want to upgrade one of these. Oh. Is culture power one of them? One or two? Eureka, raise army. Actually, that might be the best bet. We need as many armies as we possibly can. Uh, culture power. Uh, raise another set of armies, please. Yeah. Oh, two berserkers. Okay. Idol. Okay, so what can I do? Turn. I just need a moment to get rid of these barbarian encampments. There's just so many of them. Like, I want to go after France, I just can't at the moment because there's just so many barbarians.
of the walls down. There's one gone. The barbarians put up a spirited defense, but it's clear that their chief has a poor understanding of battle after several uh, questionable maneuvers. The chief, uh, uh, the chief's certain, prom the chief's captain promotes himself by beheading the chief. Chaos ensues as those loyal to the chief and uh, and those standing with the second in command uh, turn on each other. Stand back and watch them fight themselves or side with the captain and lose to serve the Ottoman Empire. Plus 30 government XP. Um, Actually, if I take that and then... Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to integrate Montpellier. There we go. That way I can now... I can now uh, deal with their defense. I'm going to get up walls immediately. I like how the I like how the culture the the thing were the uh, expansion works. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it just like slides further out to gain more land. I think it's pretty cool. Gather. Oh, okay. Wait, how is Montpellier doing with their food? There's one person. They need food. I'm going to get them food, actually. Yeah, improve with... Um... Where is their plantation? Can I just, uh, invalid improvement cannot be placed here. Okay, how do I... Oh! I just used that, okay. And then I will get a hunting camp as well over here. guys down this way I'm going to go take out this barbarian encampment because oh uh, maybe not not until after that's done with dealt with and I'm going to go get ready to it uh, Never mind, I actually have to go deal with them next. <laughs> Just making sure my face is still moving so I can see that like that the camera isn't frozen like it was before. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Well, these should be easy to take care of. These are just normal barbarians here. Uh, maybe not. Come on. Oh, yeah. Okay. Done. Barely touched us. So what I'm thinking of doing is promoting one of these guys, moving them up here, moving them up here, uh, and moving one of the berserkers down.
No, you know what? No, I'll do it up. Brutality is complete. Next stop, let's see. Preservation. Um, or sanitation. Well, actually, what's needed now? I keep forgetting. Oh, it's still just food. Food that's needed, but that's okay. Okay, so Istanbul, let me just, let me just make sure that there is... Um, okay, so... So two of you there. What about the not the hunting camp, fishing boats, clay pit? Uh, where is the? That's forest. I don't know. If I click on it, where is the? So Forester, where's the, uh, I thought I had, um, oh, there we go. Two points, and then where's the, not the, the, Perfect. So I have two of those, and then so I have two lumber. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to get one more forester. I thought I had. Okay, so I have one forester there. No, I have two foresters now. Or no, I have three. So why. I should have the ability to I'm kind of confused. Two workers. They're producing what? One works one log? Hmm. hmm. Okay, so that allows a number of towns. What about this one? More council improvement. Uh, okay, let's do that. In turn. I'm gonna get rid of this barbarian encampment right here. Oh, what's going on now? Pioneer, you have enough engineering domain to create a pioneer. Select the engineering domain uh, on the left, then select the spawn pioneer domain power target. Uh, this in a capital spin, spawn a pioneer movement. Move your pioneer uh, out of your region and you uh, and you use its construct outpost unit action in place. To place an outpost, outposts are valuable for supporting armies for far from home. They spawn roads, making movement faster, and damaged units have a bonus uh, to building or to healing when resting there. There are goods in an area controlled by your outpost. You can also build trading post uh, to which these will get. Okay, okay, interesting. Um, I'll probably do that in a little bit. Yeah, spawn pioneer, I see that. But right now, I've got to deal with this barbarian encampment. Okay, that one's done though simple uh, these barbarians defenses were surprisingly well positioned and effective although they lost this battle it is obvious there is an e uh, engineer with some potential among them 
Uh, other barbarians can't be allowed to, to learn from this example. 30 warfare XP. Uh, 30 engineering XP. Okay, yeah. Let's get some engineering XP because right now... So where would I even play? Uh, I guess I could place an outpost like right here. Is the pr well, I mean, hmm, I I don't want to put an outpost oh, or an out uh, an outpost right here because I'm worried about uh what's her face or the leader down here coming over and attacking. Region Idol, Montepellier, upgrade to Bloodstone Walls. Actually, that might be the best bet, and that's what I'm going to do right now. Oh, I forgot to spawn Pioneer. I'll probably... Oh, God. Okay. It was this. Expanding towns. You can increase the level of one of your towns. Select the engineering domain on the left, then the expand town domain power. Target this on one of your towns to increase its level. Higher level towns have better uh, bonuses from uh, adjacent improvements and can increase and increase the uh, region level of their region which allows larger populations and uh, access uh, to more advanced build capital buildings uh, at town level two you can also select the town and assign it a specialization at the bottom of the screen which provides greater bonuses for specific adjacent adjacent improvements okay yeah i can do that yeah um so let's go engineering um Beautiful, wait, what? Beautiful ruin, uh, or rebuild ruin town. Okay. I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna upgrade this guy. I had a feeling that we're gonna do that. That's fine. Can I also spawn a pioneer? Yes. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I've got. Oh. Not good. Not good. Not good. We are screwed. Because there is no way we survived this. Yeah, there's no way. There is no way we survived this. Oh, God. Okay. Oh. A simple. I think we're screwed. In terms of There's so many barbarians. Oh my god. Oh god, I can't reach it. And they're 
there's two more coming this way. My God. Let's see, does it say what kind of walls that they have? Oh, palisade walls and a lookout. Okay. Let me see. What is what is France's Oh wow. Whoa, okay. Um France. There we go. What's 366 minus 386? Okay. I am going to save the game just in case. Just in case something goes wrong. I'm going to try to attack. Uh, uh, Bordeaux. Oh God, it's going to take 11 turns. Uh-oh. Maybe not the best time to do that. Berserker, oh god. That's not great. <laughs> okay, next turn. I'm so lucky that I moved in another Oh shit. So lucky that I moved in another unit. Oh god. Okay, guard. Raise improvement. Come on. Guard. Least until they're healed.
Surrounding region control removed, 25 wealth looted from town level, 27 looted from region size. Nice. Oh man, I feel so bad. For, uh, well, okay. I feel slightly bad for uh, for France. Because they don't... Ooh. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to guard, heal up. So bloodstone walls is created. Okay. What time is it? Oh god, it's after ten. Okay. I'm gonna try to get to the end of this age and then I'll call it, but I don't know how long that's gonna be. So I wanna do one of two things. Uh, either I want to finish this age or I want to, um, or I want to, um, defeat France here. Region Idol. Istanbul is finished. Okay, so I want... Crossbow. Build a crossbow. Let's see what they'll do. Oh, okay. Ow. Was not expecting them to be able to do that. Okay, so they now have bloodstone walls, I think. Let's see what happens. Ooh, we didn't... Oh, the walls are down! Okay. Yeah, one of those guys is probably gonna die. Oh, well, he's still alive. Oh, God. Oh, shoot. Come on. There we go. just getting decimated oh but they do have another they have sacramento what what they have and they placed it in just the most ridiculous spot wait is the united states in this game no only the united kingdom so what the fuck is what Sa huh is there a city in france Called Sacramento? I don't I, I I don't know. That's interesting. Um, rush for fifty wealth. No. I can never afford that. Spawn settler, I mean, no. Um Naturalist. 
Plus two housing. Yeah. I'll deal with that. I'll get that. Warfare. And excuse me. Six. Um. So, what else can I do? I have the I have a farm there. Um. Let's see. What else can I build? That. What does it do? No, that doesn't really help me. Farm. Stop at dwelling. Didn't camp. No, doesn't really help at all. Yeah, no. I'll take a look once I finish all of this. nothing up that way okay percent chance of winning okay well those guys are probably gonna lose which has the better uh, 20 these guys have the better chance of winning okay sort of died there that that really sucks these guys should be able to win there we go done good regional cap uh regional capital conquered five population killed uh, 100 wealth looted from population, 80 wealth looted from region size. Okay. Nice. Oh. Ah, there's barbarian encampment right there. Okay. to returns until that's done oh wait that's a that's not oh well no i meant i wanted to finish upgrading and then
create town. I'll probably create town for Montpellier. What do I want? Where do I want it? Um, I guess I could probably set it right here or right here. I think it'd be more worth it to set it right here. Because then it'll reach out to these guys. Right over there. There we go. Yeah. Uh, okay, as the population of your own region grows, the needs of the population expand. You now have a region that needs food and housing. To meet this need, build improvements that provide housing, and, such as dwellings. Each need has a satisfaction level. The average satisfaction of all needs in region determines how quickly the population of region grows or shrinks. Okay. So if I look at Istanbul. Oh, 200% housing. It's all good. Okay. Uh, whoa, they killed an entire, oh god, what in, wow, holy crap, wow, okay, so berserkers shouldn't be used too often, got it, okay, uh, let's get, Oh, we've got boats now attacking us. Great. Move back in here, please. Lost 52 X. rising warning. The lands outside the borders of the nation the Ottoman Empire are wild and untamed. New warlords are conquering barbarian tribes and on the nation's cities. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, no. I, I don't want any of that. No. Go away. Mm, just no. I'm I'm already dealing with a ton of shit. I I really don't need you to do that. And what is who is this? What what is this? Oh, settler, France. Uh, no. You're you're not doing that. Good. From who? Who's attacking? All oh, barbarian units, okay. Don't want to know where that guy is going. Uh, no. 
Oh my god. Okay, the Kingdom of the Ottoman Empire flourish flourishes due to continued payments from local towns. Awesome. Um. Okay. Uh, yeah. This, these guys have gotta, no. You, you need to go. Why can't I kill them? Ah! Ah, there we go. This should kill them. Yeah, go away. Army destroyed. Good. Sorry, France. There's no way you're coming up this way. Just not a chance. No. War council is complete. Um, let's get mining. Let's go back and get them, I guess. Yeah. did a dent into the walls which is good oh those are cool those are cool looking walls That's pretty good, wow. Berserker can come back in here. Uh, guard. Okay. Yeah, 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 I know about those points, but there's really not much I can do. Um, so I think I'll wait. I can probably get a pasture for those cattle. Farm, dock, dwelling, hunting. Uh, where is the pasture? Pasture. And then the food. No, not getting any of those lumber of that lumber. What's this mean? Why, what does that mean when it's, is that just mean it's being consumed? One of those logs is being consumed, I'm guessing? Consumed for four production. Is this, is this saw pit being used? Yes. Because I'm still only getting... Converts one log to the lumber. But I'm I'm sort of again still confused about this. Like does this mean that it's Does this red thing mean it's like being consumed or is that uh, I'm not sure. 
All right. Well, I gotta. Uh, I gotta finish this. Are these guys healing or is it like are they stuck at that is this feels like they're stuck at 28 and 62 okay you know what integrate okay so uh you know what and then i'm going to spawn pioneer there I'm gonna have them be transported up here oh god I need you to how fast can you get up defenses Sixteen turns. No, okay. Get a city guard. Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah. Get a city. Region idol. Okay. And then get a um, cross. What is this? Oh, hmm. Oh, forgot I had a second pioneer. Okay, you know what? Um, I could create another outpost, but where though? Um, no, I, not right now. Go away. Yes. You, you go away. Um, probably spawn a settler later. But right now, I need to protect. I actually need to go up here and destroy them. Perfect! Mining completed. Now I need to finish this age. Let's go barbarism. Why not? Come on, I know, uh, Istanbul. Um. Yeah, let's get the seat of power.
No deal. Oh yeah, that's the other problem people were getting complaining about too is the um is the uh thing here, the icons for the resources. People were getting annoyed by how like you can't really because you're uh because the icons for the resources are so big, you can't really see the names of your armies and that or the makeup of your armies. Uh, okay, so I want to get another one of those. How many? What are you? Okay, so you are working. This, uh, the scouts encounter a small settlement. The people seem friendly. Um, 30 government XP is always good. Um, you wait till next turn, okay. Oh no, unit destroyed. this now. Oh, I can upgrade my kingdom. I'll be in two spear. Actually, that really helps. The prospector create outpost. Oh god, okay, no, god, that is so frustrating.
The barbarians have left behind beautiful uh, tapestries in their village. That's XP, okay. What can I do here? Immigration. Gain one population. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Or promote cultural exports. Prosperity, target a vassalized territory to increase prosperity. Now I'll go immigration. Should be towards the end of this thing. Oh my gosh. Let's see, is this is this being worked now finally? No, it's not. Oh yeah, ca okay, capital attack available. How do I do that? Capital attack, there we go. There. I should be able to get out of this era soon. That's where I kind of want to end this. There. Uh, I can't even use a culture power. Uh, integrate vassals, spawn envoy, spawn merchant. None of that would really be helpful for me. Hmm. Variants or rebels to disband. Um, okay. Interesting. Where is, oh, I can't see them. Okay. Oh god, that was that was easy. Uh, okay, move in there. Oh, whoop. I didn't mean to do that. Guard.
Region Idol. Where? Montpellier. Okay, so you're done. So get a scriptorium. Oh wait, no, that's gonna cost 30 turns. Um Let's go let's go get a council. And then let's get a crane after that. And then move that spearman down to here, I think it was. Yeah. No, actually. Hold on. Wait, where did you go? Oh, right here. You come down over here. Hmm. Actually, we're gonna have to go take out that ta that uh, that encampment there. So, oh yeah, I might want to use some. I forgot about these. Um. Now that I have the ability, let's build uh, a dock. And we're also going to build uh, fishing boats right there. Region idle. Um, okay. Uh... Yeah, bloodstone walls. Region idol, Istanbul. Okay, temple. Watch. Um, where's region level two? Five unrest suppression. One exploration. Temple work camp. Okay, let's get a work uh, work camp, then a crane. Uh, work camp. Then a crane. Okay, we gotta deal with that barbarian encampment. there oh what's going on over there oh oh you can get some more Barbarism is done. Okay. Oh, God. It's going to take 27 turns, though. Okay. 
So let's let's try and be quick here. Five eighty. Oh wait, don't I have diplomacy points? Can't I um oh yeah here bribe Boom disband go away I only forgot about that. That's cool The battle was hard, uh, well fought. The barbarians have much strength and honor. Diplomacy. Fight to the last breath. Okay. Come on, almost done. a eureka moment at all this game uh this age so hopefully that means i'll be able to um wait what is this uh script immortals spawn two spears units in the vassal making enough money for this yeah but i think i'll Keep that. Uh, spawn envoy domain. Okay, yeah. Uh, spawn wealth. Uh, wealth from a vassal based on his population. Okay. Next turn. Oh, there's Japan. Yeesh. Okay, so there's a scout. Oh, I see where you are. You're south of here. Okay. Where's my other leader? Istanbul. Okay, get a get the scriptorium next.
go. What is this? A settler? Yeah, settler again. Fuck. I'm gonna have to chase him down. Actually help me a little bit. Friendly barbarian. That is cool. But actually, I think. Damn. That sucks. Unit destroyed. Oh. Wait, did they? Oh no, he killed my unit. Damn. Oh god. Yeah, no. Damn. Fuck you. Uh. Yeah. Oh my god. God, more barbarians. Ugh, I really want out of this age so badly. Uh, can I enlist these? No. Fuck. Oh, How do I bribe? Is there a way to bribe them? Is there a way to bribe them to go away? Um, no. Oh god, this sucks. Volunteers, forced march, bribe, barbie. No, I think they could. I know I can I, I know I can do improvements but it's just like oh yeah I keep forgetting my boats are about to die uh, uh, what oh that's so bullshit oh until this guy is healed.
War Council will be what? One left. There we go. Almost done. Okay, so regional unit. Okay. Um. Civic Monument would be plus Is there units I can build? No. Oh, yeah. Canoe. Okay. There. No, I can't. Next turn, I will be ready to attack. Uh. Look in there. keep my guys in here to protect them. Not out of the woods yet. Yep, here we are again. Uh, like the moment that I... Just there's so many of them, they keep spawning and it's freaking annoying. Then a skull or a skull tower and then a watchtower. Oh wait, no, that's Bordeaux. I wanted Istanbul.
Oh, this is horrible. Ah, what? Seriously? What's going on? Like. It's a bit ridiculous, but okay. Huh. Region Idol. Okay. Um. Let's get a council and then a meeting hall. Until next turn, okay. Oh, Montpellier. Um, stockpile. Or actually, you know what? You also need to get a, a couple of people to protect you. Um, so. Oh, they're all the way back healed. Oh, that's... The vassals of the nation of the... Rebelled against the... Ah, uh, no. Are you kidding me? They're back to being... Full health. That's crazy. Take out one of them. Oh, God. Doing 100%. Let's see. Probably have to, we'll probably die, but. Really... Ugh. Oh, wow. We did it. Okay. Okay. Bordeaux is, or. Sacramento is conquered. Three population, uh, three population killed. Fifty wealth looted from uh, from population and forty wealth looted from region size. Okay. Layer five. France has been eliminated. Okay. My turn. Ah, I just want to get out of this age. Uh, can I use a culture power? I'm gonna rush that and I'm gonna Eureka. Guard. Next. Uh. That. Age of Blood Reward gained 14 Warfare from Event Reward. Okay. Yes! There we go, everybody. Done. All right. Ugh, Age of Kings. All right, that is where we're ending it. I am way over time. It is 11 o'clock. This was a long stream. I think we can call it here. Um, so... Age of Kings, uh, if you guys want to see me continue this playthrough uh, on to the next bits, let me know. But for now, 
Um, for now, that's going to be it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to mute, mute that. So this goes in. So let's move over to here. I am way over time. Holy crap. That was a long stream. But I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Wow. A lot of stuff happened. Um, I'm glad that I got back. Uh, I was able to come back and uh, continue the stream. Uh, again, I don't know what happened. I don't know why it did that. Like why the uh, stream just cut out. Uh, it might have been my internet maybe. I don't know. But either way, did, uh, came back and uh, we actually won against France. Very happy. I struggled a, a lot. I am glad that I put it on novice. Um, I am not really like... I'm going to admit, I'm going to say right now, admit 100%, I play these games for fun. Matt and I talked about this on Monday. We, me and him play for fun. We play to enjoy ourselves and, you know, that's, that's what we really do. So, you know, if, if you come on expecting us to be like really, really good at the game, you're not going to like, you're going to have to just bear with us that we're probably not going to be as good as you think but we will provide a lot of entertainment whether we win or lose you know um if we mess up you know we provide just as much entertainment i think as if when we win because you guys can make fun of us and laugh at us and laugh at our mess ups and stuff like that so yeah um but in any case, yeah, that is it for tonight. Um, again, if you want to follow uh, follow me here on Twitch, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm five followers away from reaching my 40 follower goal. It's my first follower goal here on Twitch. If you guys could do that, I would be, again, greatly, uh, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, it would mean a lot, especially as a small streamer. Every little bit helps. Uh, if you have any suggestions for ways that can improve, improve the stream, uh, you know, make it better, uh, or games you want to see us play in the future. If you want to see me continue my playthrough of millennia here, let me know. Um, you know, I'm always open to suggestions. I have my own ideas, but I want to get you guys to come back for another week. I want to get you guys to come say, Hey, hang in, hang out and enjoy either seeing me su succeed or laugh at me when I mess up. But anyway, um, yeah, so let me know. You can let me know in the Twitch chat or the, co the suggestions, uh, suggestion box down below or uh, in the YouTube comments below this live stream once it's up. Um, so yeah, you can let me know what you think. Uh, you can stay up to date with everything that's going on with this channel and the YouTube channel over on my ex formerly Twitter handle at Allegis 9611-0996. That is where I post whenever I'm going to be live. Whenever I can't be live, whenever I update the schedule, stuff like that. All that stuff goes over there, so you can go and check that out. Um, also, my YouTube channel, Allegis Plays, that is where I post all of these live streams after they premiered here. Um, they go up usually around 24 to 48 hours after they premiered here, so you can expect this one to be up either tomorrow or Friday. Just depends on my internet speed, my rendering speed, stuff like that. Does YouTube want to cooperate? all of that stuff. Uh, but generally it'll be, uh, 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 generally it'll be up either tomorrow or Friday. If not, I will let you guys know on, on X. Um, but if you want to help me out over on YouTube, the best way to do so is to like the live streams, subscribe to the channel so that it, um, so that you guys can help me out there and build me a help, uh, build a community over there on YouTube. Um, you know, because uh, again, I'm also a small streamer there and I would greatly appreciate it. You know, I, I really do. I truly do appreciate when you guys show support, show me support and stuff like that and show that you like watching these uh, live streams and stuff like that. So if you guys could do that, please, please, I'd, I'd absolutely love it. Um, so again, like the live streams, share the live streams, um, get the word out there, you know, uh, leave a comment on underneath the video letting me know what you think or it, even if it's just an emoji for the sake of engagement it would really help me out um so yeah uh that is it for tonight uh we will probably be me and sam will probably be back on friday um i'm pretty sure we're gonna 
start playing The Sims, I think. I don't know. Uh, wait, no. Friday... I don't know why I also... So, ignore the outro. Friday is not going to be a live stream. We're going to be out all day. It's Good Friday. So, I forgot because Easter is early. It's going to be on Sunday. Friday is Good Friday. So, yeah. Um... So Friday, there won't be any live stream because we will be out all day and we'll probably not be back in time. So next Monday will be the next live stream. So stay tuned for that. Uh, until then, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm Chris, a.k.a. Allegis, and I will see you guys. I think Monday is April. It's in April. So yeah, see you guys then.